Hello, everyone. So for this session, we will be discussing collaborative filtering. So what is collaborative filtering? The general idea with the collaborative filtering is that we will be recommending items that are liked by similar users. So here are some examples. I like dark, sci-fi, and action movies. So the system will recommend me to watch movies that were liked by the people with the same interests as me. Second example is I like Inception. So the system will recommend me to watch movies that are similar to Inception. So there are two um, common techniques for doing collaborative filtering. So there's user-based collaborative filtering and item-based collaborative filtering. In user-based collaborative filtering, we find users with the same interests and recommend items that they like or rated highly. In item-based collaborative filtering, we recommend an item if we like the items that are similar to this. So um, to have a better visualization on user-based collaborative filtering, you can look at this um, diagram. So we start with the user first, and then we will be looking for similar users. And after that, we will recommend the items that uh, those similar users like. And then we feed it back to the user. So for item-based collaborative filtering, then we start with the user, and then we check the items that the user like. And then we will recommend similar items to the items that the user like, and then feed it back again to the user. Let's start with user-based collaborative filtering. So the steps for user-based collaborative filtering are as follows. First is we build the user item matrix, and then we compute similarity of users, and then we select K most similar users. And then we rate the items based on the ratings of most similar users, and then we retrieve the top items. Okay, first is we build the user item matrix. As you can see, this is sparse. And we want to predict the ratings that a user will have for the unrated items here. Suppose we want to recommend items for user 1. What will be our ratings for the unrated items? Now we will have to compute the similarity of the users. And uh, we will be using the person correlation here. So here are the mean values. We will be imputing them now so that we can compute the similarity scores. As you can see here, on the right side, we have the similarity scores. Assume that our k value is equal to 2. Now we will have to get the top two similar users. And the top two similar users would be user 2 and user 4. Next is we will be rating the unrated items. So the red um, cells here are the unrated items. Given that we have um, the ratings for user 2 and user 4 are top 2 users, if k is equal to 2, uh, now we can compute the rating based on the average of uh, their ratings. So the average of 5 and 3 is 4. That's why you have 4 here. 4 and nothing, so that's just 4. And uh, for this item here, there's none because uh, both are unrated. And then finally, 3 because nothing and 3. That's how you compute it. Here's the weighted variation for rating the unrated items. We simply include the similarity scores instead of actually just getting the mean. So how do we do that? So remember our um, utility matrix earlier, and we have our similarity scores. Um, now we will have to multiply that. We will multiply the ratings by the similarity scores. And then uh, we get first the sum of weighted ratings and sum of similarity scores if ratings are present. Here are the sum of weighted ratings created this new row here. And then 
we divide the sum of weighted ratings by the sum of the similarity scores. So here's what we have at the end. Now we have our predicted ratings. Okay. Now we proceed to item-based collaborative filtering. So in item-based collaborative filtering, we build the item user matrix, then we compute the similarity of items, and then we select K most similar items that have been rated by a user. Then we rate the items based on the weighted average of most similar items, and then we retrieve the top items. So first is we build the item user matrix. For this example, we will predict the rating of user three to item one. As usual, uh, we impute um, using the mean values for um, that particular um, user in this example. So we will be using the Pearson correlation here. And then uh, we check the similarities first, right? So with that, we will end up with this. Now, if we have A is equal to 2, we get the top two similar items that we rated. So similar to what we have done in user-based collaborative filtering, uh, we will be rating the unrated items um, using the similarity scores that we computed. And then you can do the rest similar to what we have done earlier. Now to sum it all up, um, the utility matrix can be viewed as telling us um, to view this as a user-based or an item-based problem. So we can tackle this problem with any of those approaches, but there are some key differences. So in the user-based similarity, we can base our recommendation on the decisions made by similar users. For example, recommend items that the greatest number of them have purchased or rated highly. However, there is no symmetry. Even if we find pairs of similar items, we need to take an additional step in order to recommend items to users. As for item-based similarity, items tend to be classifiable in simple terms. For example, music tends to belong to a single genre. It is, it is impossible, for example, for a piece of music to be both 60s rock and 1700s baroque. On the other hand, there are individuals who like both 60s rock and 1700s baroque, and who buy examples of both types of music. The consequence is that it is easier to, to discover items that are similar because they belong to the same genre than it is to detect that two users are similar because they prefer one genre in common. And I got um, these excerpts from our main reference textbook, which is the Mind of Master Data Text book. So those are generally the key differences. And in practice, uh, normally we will be getting better um, recommendations with item-based, but you could still try these two.